Mm. We're live. We're live. We're back. What's this episode? Episode Shoot. what? I think we have 30. We have, we're are 40. We have 40? We have 4 I think we have 4 0. 4 0. Yeah. Chicago Bears, great number 40. I ain't seen You know no. who it is? No. You don't know who number 40 is, Chicago Bear history? No. I'm sorry. I'm going to give you a, a hint. I would know if you give me a hint. I'm going to give you a hint. Okay. I think you might know it. Okay. He's one of the all-time greatest Chicago Bears. He's in the Hall of Fame, but his but his playing career was cut short because of injury. Was cut short because of he injury? was in he was in his uh, was he okay? So is it, is it like old like yeah he old 80s? yeah he old like sixties oh see oh I don't wait 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 nineteen sixties I give you another hint there's a movie about him and his best friend what there was a there's a there's there's a movie uh, the great. Uh, Billy D. Williams played him in the movie. Okay, so this sounds familiar, but I probably I can't think of it. He's when like, I say his name, you gonna know who I'm I am. I'm probably gonna know, yeah. Mike, you probably gonna know his name too when I say his name. Y'all ready? Yeah. Gail Sayers. Oh yeah. See, <laughs> you should have told me. You, you should have told me the one who got caught up uh, in that little thing with the uh, with the baby mama. No, what, that, that, lady, that one him. That's Dave Durson. No, 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 you, you sure? Cause it, oh, it was, okay. it was, it was on the straight up. Yeah, she has like seventy some years I old. I know, I know, I know. But it was, it was, it's an old story. Maybe, maybe I'm getting it mixed up. You're getting it mixed up. Cause you know, it was the dude, the girl was uh, stalking his baby mama. That's Dave Dorson. That was Dave Dorson. Yeah, okay, that's Dave okay, Dorsen. Yeah, okay. I know who that is. He was on eighty five bears. <laughs> okay, Dave okay. I'm like, I know it was the old bears. Cause you it was to say like, says got no, holes, huh? no, it was on Are like it was. <laughs> he probably did, but it was like it was on like one of those like. ID channel specials okay, and okay. it was showing how yeah, the lady he had like yeah he did have like mad hoes and then yeah he did yeah the one girl I think killed his baby killed mama, his baby or something mama. Like that. Yeah. yeah it was all over the news yeah that was wild and now he got CTE he died he had CTE recently like this is a few years ago yeah right, when all that came out he got CTE crazy yeah. crazy 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 yeah yeah well yeah. that's episode forty uh, we back um. For people, when you guys see this video, when we download it, you'll probably see it on Wednesday, what? Friday? They'll see yeah, the video. they'll see it by Friday. So when you guys, you listeners, when you see this video, you're going to notice a different studio, a different setting. Um, it's not my basement. <laughs> it's not Tisa's basement. No. We at the Sound Palace studio yeah, in Chicago. Good, yeah, too. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm sorry, the Sonic Sound. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sonic <high>? Sound Palace. <laughs> he getting it mixed up. My bad. Hand claps for that. <laughs> My bad, Mike. My bad. <laughs> we're, in, we're in Chicago. We're still in Chicago, but we got a new spot, everybody. So um, y'all going to check us out. Y'all going to be seeing um, guests come to the studio, and we do interviews. We do the podcast here. Um, we also do the Reasonable Ignorance podcast, you know, brothers of the show. Uh, we do it here also. So um, episode 40, I'm Coach Mo. We got T's back. Yo, yo. How was your week? <laughs> Yeah, my week's been good so far. I can't, I can't, um, can't complain. Except for the crazy stuff that's been going on in the world. But other than that, it's been, it's been, it's been busy. Been busy. It's been busy because you know what? Everybody trying to get, bit, you know, leading up to the weekend. Yeah. So you know, it's about to get ratchet this weekend. So it's about to be warm this weekend. Yeah. It's gonna be filled with a barbecue. Yeah. Uh, Hennessy. Yeah. Um, weed. Weed. <laughs> definitely weed. Yeah. Um, and a whole bunch of ratchet stuff. I just hope that nobody loses their mind this weekend and we can have like a nice, mild, happy weekend yeah. where, you know, no kids get shot um, hanging out outside in the front of their house. You know, people be saying like, you know, when Mercury and retrograde, like sometimes I might really pay attention to it. But honestly, I think it do is something aligned with with warm weather in certain time of the year that I do think people just I don't you think know so? I really do I don't know I, I think they tap into something that just <laughs> for real like bro because it it, it seems like you know it, it's like always around like this time and then it's like it be crazy crazy things going on like we just had like three or four mass shootings in yeah we did like within a, the span of three weeks it, it's yes nuts. I mean but by the time we get over one it's just like another one and it's just like the number keeps of people keep going it's like you it's like you damn near you know immune to it which is a sad state to be desensitized in, to be, yeah. all those words yeah. that coach steve kerr said we shouldn't be no yeah. you're right i understand what you're saying yeah um for just going back real quick the, with the holiday coming up memorial day is one of my favorite holidays why 
because when I was growing up as a shorty, um, either we went out of town for mm-hmm. like that weekend to like Milwaukee, or we stayed home that weekend, and then I kicked it with my cousins. So mm. it was always one of them holidays that I always had fun. Did y'all ever go to, did y'all do the, the um, cemetery thing? Did y'all go to nah, the cemetery? No, we didn't do that. We was one of them black families. We didn't do that. <laughs> nah, we didn't do that. See, my, so my grandparents, like, mm-hmm. so my mom's, uh, her, her, her mother and my aunt, they used to always want to go. So we used to do that on Memorial Day. Is okay. go to now my mom and them keep that tradition up, which I'm glad because mm. I ain't really that ain't my thing either. So, but yeah, we used to do that on Memorial Day, which is kind of like when you little, that's like scary. <laughs> you just be go to the cemetery, walk around, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that that really that was that wasn't really fun, but <laughs> yeah. I, did y'all I, did y'all who cooked on that weekend? You know who cooked. Your old man cook. You know my old man Did he, cook. What, but what they see, everybody, this is how, for people to understand, black people, when it comes to Memorial Day and holiday weekend, Memorial Day is always that Monday, mm-hmm. the last Monday, right? Mm-hmm. May. So for black culture, black people pick a day that they're going to cook. Right. Some black people love to cook on Memorial Day. Yeah. Some don't want to cook on the day of Memorial Day because they got to go to work the next day. Yep. So what day did your old man cook? We always cook on Sunday. Sunday. So it would either be that Saturday, but normally it's always on Sunday. Like this this year, we do on Sunday. Sunday. So which is, we always do. We usually pretty much do on Sunday. Then Monday, everybody either chilling mm-hmm. or we just doing something else. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like you know, I will probably be chilling unless like one of my hoes be like, you know, you won't run through or something. One like of that. your who? One of my hoes. Yeah. So. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. All right. I'm joking. I'm joking. Hey, hey, Tease, get out like I'm you joking. live. Get I'm out like joking. you live, Tease. I'm joking. Um, my my uncle would always cook on Sunday. He would always, he would tell everybody come over on Sunday. Mm-hmm. He that's when he when we they used to stay right on five twenty two North Leclerc back in the day, and he would tell everybody come over there. He had that big old yard, and he had that big garage. Mm-hmm. He had everybody over there. He'd be playing all that music. But he had those, remember the barrel grills? Mm-hmm. And he had the two big barrel, like the big Oh, big so he would get down, get down. Oh, he used to get out. Yeah. Like, he used to get out. But You got them big barrels. That means you serious on the grill. You're man, not playing around. He would <laughs> get out, and all on them grills was pork. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pork everything. High blood pressure. Pork everything. <laughs> that's all that's on. He it. would he would he would fry catfish. Yeah. Man, my uncle, cause see, he from Mississippi. Mm-hmm. So he get out. Yeah. He had a yard where he grew like uh greens, tomatoes. So he would I mean he got out and man, yeah. you talk about people leaving there full mm-hmm. and if you drink. He was gonna be drunk, yeah, and that's what he did on Sunday. And then everybody's on Monday, playing cards, everybody's stuff. playing cards. Yeah. All the kids had to like be away from all that. Yeah, we was, a, but we heard everything. Yeah, but we <laughs> knew what they was doing. Yeah, but um, but on Monday, all he would do on that Monday was just chill with it with his his wife that's and, what we and, do. and just chill. That's what we do because he fed everybody on Sunday. Yeah, so that's what we do. We 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 cook on Sunday. We chill out. Then, like I said, Monday is a free for all. So either you chilling it, you know, doing what you do, or like I said, if any of my friends doing something. Something that might, you know, roll through. But like you said, everybody got to work on Tuesday. Everybody got to so work on Tuesday. You really don't want to go to work dragging, but, you know. And this year, Courtney graduates on Tuesday. Really? Th- yep. That next Tuesday? Yeah, uh, next wow, Tuesday. Wow, I can't believe she's going to high school. Uh, I know. Are man. you ready, bro? I'm not ready. My daughter, I, I, I'm not ready. You better get I'm ready. Not. <laughs> I, I'm not ready. I gotta be honest. I'm not ready. You gotta get ready, bro. I know I gotta it's get ready. It is getting ready to get fast. I mean, it's gonna I go know. super fast. I know, but Next thing you know, you're gonna have the boy to the door trying to, you know, take she, Courtney she, out. She just had a luncheon on Tuesday. Right? I saw that. She had a luncheon on Tuesday. She's all dressed up. And I was just like, <laughs> Did you cry, bro? <laughs> no, I ain't cry, but I was just like, You ain't a baby no more. No, she's not. She's a pretty girl, pretty little chocolate girl. Yeah. And now yeah. she's about to graduate. So this is gonna be a big week for us. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on this week. So what high school is she going to? It's called Chicago Academy of the Arts. Oh, okay. I forget she's RC. So yeah, yeah. She's cause she's real RC. Yeah. She's real, you know, she that's what she want to do. That's good. So that's I, good. Go for it, Court. I told her, I was like, well, you know, it's on the north side, but we'll make it happen. Well, you know, we went to school up north, so you know. I told her, I was like, we're gonna make it happen. That's yeah. where you want to go, we'll make it happen. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, but that was different though. We was in the city. Yeah, it was in the city. Though. Yeah, it was a little so, different. Yeah, it was a little different. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's 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 my week. Um, and just overall, no, 
going back to last week though. Let's go back to last week. All right. When we did our show on Monday, mm-hmm. we had the Battle of the Sexes. Yeah, that was fun. Shout that, out to everybody who joined us. We yes. appreciate y'all joining that conversation. That was that was dope. And you can listen to subscribers. You can always go back to episode thirty nine. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Um, it's on the some of this, some of that uh, page, so you'll be able to. It's on Spotify, Apple, all Spotify, stuff. Apple, all yeah. that. So you better listen to it. It was a great time. Yeah. But that weekend before last money, it was that mass shooting mm-hmm. with the black people at the grocery store. Mm-hmm. So you and I didn't get a chance to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Obviously, because we had that show and yeah. understandable. I almost called you like, Tease, we need to do a pod just, just on, on that. that. Yeah. Like I almost, I almost called and just said, let's just jump on real quick. Yeah. But uh, let's talk about that first and the people in Buffalo who still facing trauma mm-hmm. to this day. Mm-hmm. And, you know, people are still being interviewed up there in Buffalo. Families are still messed that's, up. If you experienced that, they, I mean, that's that's not a, that's not a, it's nothing like a band-aid. You just can't rip it off. You know what I'm saying? You that's can't. a, that's a, that's, that's a traumatic thing because, when you look at the ages of all those people that 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 they were older people, mm-hmm. older ladies, like you live all your life, you get through the bullshit that's in, you know, you get through the civil rights, <laughs> you know, you go through all that. A you lot get of shit. to be 70, 80 years right. old, and this is how you die from some a wacko. Like, you know, I wish people, honestly, I don't like Wacko wish, is too good of a I, word I don't for like him. seeing, like, I don't like wishing death on people. Let's call him what he is. But, Let's man, call him what he is. What? A terrorist. Definitely a terrorist. That's how Definitely what he is. Definitely a terrorist. For sure. But you know what but blew me? And I think I said it at that time. I think I said it on Twitter at that time is that how the media they when it's always like a uh like a someone that's not black, whether it they don't even have to be if if they're not black or they're not a brown person, right? Mm-hmm. It's always it's straight to mental illness. Mm-hmm. And it's always this teenager that is like the whole you know, headlines, oh this teenager Went to the grocery store. So they make it sound like it's it's you know it's not what no, it's a grown ass man, okay? Because mm-hmm. if it was if it was some black kids, we already know they would have been like they would he could have been sixteen. They would have called him a grown man. Mm-hmm. This is a grown ass man who planned this for months. For months had a whole what hundred eighty five something manifesto. He manifesto. talked about it. He so, put it on Facebook. So I'm just this this is not this is not this is yeah there is something wrong with your brain to do that so yeah it is mental illness but you're coherent enough to to do that you to plan this so you ain't that damn crazy you crazy because only a crazy person would do something like that but well, you thought this out so you're not you're not that damn crazy here my my, my the evil my thought is he he's an evil person uh, because number one. He cased the entire store and area a week prior to him doing that. Yeah. He actually sat on a curb across from the store. Mm-hmm. A black dude saw him and was and was like, "Hey, you all right? Yeah. You, you, you need some help? Yeah. And he told him, "No, nah, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm just paying attention. Yeah. Nobody said a word. Yeah. So I'm not gonna give him the out as crazy because yeah. what he was is a person who believed in the principles of white supremacy mm-hmm. and well it's not even you looked the, at his rifle yeah he basically put on his rifle all the things he believed in that replacement stuff dylan yeah. roof is one of his heroes yeah zimmerman was one of his heroes yeah. and that's why i think people like that you know if they if they would have died if they would have got killed yeah, killed. <laughs> killed <laughs> that right. they would have got killed right. doing that foolish stuff you know <laughs> i wonder if that would make them pause from doing that stuff. Wow. But they don't. They always walk out. They, they always, always walk, walk out. out and they can live and they're going to go to jail, but they're not going to go in general population. They're going to go be protected all their years in jail. I mean, he... That's he, messed up. I, unfortunately, I saw the video, the entire video, without no editing, like the entire video of him, you know, because he had the camera on him. Mm-hmm. I, he, didn't, I didn't watch He it. uploaded it on Twitch. I, I tried to avoid it, yeah. but... You know, Twitter shows everything. Like, right. Yeah, you can I find everything it, yeah. on Twitter. So I watched the whole video, and it was sad because when he when he walked upon this white guy who worked there, mm-hmm. he said, "Oops, sorry," and he giggled. And with the gun. With the gun. Wow. Yeah. And it just you know for me I was like, God and that's you know damn, what, man. but that's the thing too, bro. People were saying like you know, people. 
were quick to say what well, the remedy is. Someone should have, you know, shot at him. Someone should have been. Well, the 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 older the the security guard was, you know, um, armed. He did shoot at him. He but took him out. When you were in full body armor, what what does that do? Unless Nothing. unless I mean, you can't you can't you are you. It's a losing battle. You know what I'm saying? Unless everybody just attacked him or whatever to get that. And even then, someone's gonna lose their life. But it's just like these these people are so off. Like they're really buying into this. Replacement, they are, you know, theory. It's just that's dumb. If you in America, you already know if we're at a male simp spot, yeah, everybody is going. All races are are not not becoming obsolete, but we, it's a melting pot. Yep. So everybody is it's. And we're going to be biracial. I mean, I mean, what do you expect? That's what the country is. Mm -hmm. And so, so what? Mm -hmm. So what? I mean, if you want it, my thing is if you, if you are scared of disappearing as a white person, I mean, it's so many white countries you can go to. You could go to Europe and just have your pick. <laughs> if you just want to live amongst all white people, that mean if that's if that's your theory, because well, this land is not yours or move to, to Wyoming to, to, to claim. So you can't say like you know they're taking over our land. Well, this ain't your land. So move to Wyoming. There's a lot of them there. I mean, go to Wyoming or go back if you want to just be around all white people. You can just go overseas. And he and this dude, he drove. Across like two or three counties, just this, just this to come thing. to this store. Yeah, it just makes no sense. That's uh, what I'm saying. Then you, but he lived, but he's gonna live to talk about it. That's what upsets me, bro. Is that these people? You think about the John Wayne Gacy's, all these crazy people. They mm -hmm. live. They live to talk they be, about they, it. They, they they die in jail, and I just like it's just so unfair. And it's just like I I don't. They gonna make I don't a like documentary putting out, out that of same it. energy out there, like to yeah. to be like you know I I don't really like that, but it's just like man, it just seems so unfair. They had you know? a guy on CNN when that happened. You know, he was a ex. Uh, I think he was I think he was in Desert Storm or whatever. So they was asking him about you know. Those people in Buffalo, when it comes to that type of trauma, mm -hmm. is it the same as being in war? And the guy was like, well, th the only part is the same, he was saying, is because they're going to remember those sounds yeah. that they heard, the screaming. Yeah. And, and he was like, that's going to stay with them for as long as they live. Mm -hmm. And he was like, this is how it is. He was saying, come home from Desert Storm. He can he can remember, and he said he can almost like he can smell the gunpowder, all that. I'm and sure. he was like, that's what you don't never get rid of. And yeah. he was like, all those people in Buffalo are going to have to have some type of counseling. Yeah. Because sure. he was like, they have PTSD. Yeah. Whether they want to admit it or not. Yeah. The people who survived, the people who were in that store, the people who had to walk past all those dead bodies right. are going to forever remember that. For sure. That's fucked up, man. For sure. It's fucked up. Yeah. It's fucked For up. For sure. It's, it's no getting around that. No getting around. There's that. no getting around it's that. Not. And it's, you know, as we as we already know, as we're dealing with this week, it's not it's gonna happen again. It just it's just it's where our country is built. It's built it's built on this kind of trauma and it's they're not getting rid of guns because that's where the power is. That's how they obtain power. Well, so they're not gonna let that go. And, and it's just unfortunate. It's not. They're not gonna let that go because you you always see. No, they're not when, gonna let it go. When it when every time there's another, you know, the the gun discussion happens, it, the the remedy for most people is just like, well, everybody get armed. Well, <laughs> okay, most people are armed, and this is not helping. So, what's what 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 what's next? The, to me, the armor ain't the problem. It's it's the kind of arms like these. These war, these war weapons. Assault rifles. You, you, you don't need that. I don't. I don't feel like you need that in your house. I just don't. Let, I mean, I just don't feel like we need that. But I guess if you have a war mentality, and that's and that's you're always, you know, you're you you think somebody is always after you, or you are, are you trying to always be in power? Mm -hmm. I guess that's why you know you you feel like you need that. But I don't feel like that's necessary. You know. Well, I mean, just to. I mean, you led into it, but just to get into it, you know, yesterday with those, what was it, 19 kids? Yeah, I think maybe shot, up to 21. Killed. Yeah. Um, maybe 19 kids and maybe three adults, something like that. Shot yeah. and killed in an elementary school in Texas. Mm -hmm. Small school, too. Um, the town of Uvalde, Texas. Um, 19 kids were killed by an 18 year old mm -hmm. who purchased. An AR-15 assault hmm. rifle the, the, on his birthday, which Crazy. was last week. Legally, he purchased it. it Legally, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everything was legal. That's what I'm saying. You shouldn't be able to do that. 
I just don't agree with that. So to talk today, you know, after you know after the shooting, you know, and the, the outrage and everybody, and I yesterday was emotional because I have to admit, like it really it, it bothered me. But today was when okay, this is when you do the press conference. And today mm-hmm. they had at the school, the mayor of that town, the governor Abbott, who's a fucking clown. Mm-hmm. Then they had the lieutenant governor, and then they had, uh, of course, Senator Cruz, who was standing up there with them. Mm-hmm. So you know they all they always giving the details of what they know from the authorities from what they've been told. So this eighteen year old kid. Um, apparently, according to people he went to school with, which he really never went to school, according to some of his students, he was bullied growing up. Mm-hmm. He really didn't have any friends. Mm-hmm. And apparently he told some people on Facebook he sent messages to saying, I just bought this rifle. He showed pictures, allegedly, of the rifle. Mm-hmm. And he said, wait until tomorrow. So why didn't they sound the alarm? So here's the thing. This is what people on CNN, you know, that was how those correspondents, they were saying how, well, if he sent that message to somebody, why didn't that person alert the authorities? Yeah. So now they're trying to, here's that back and forth about, well, is that story really true? How do we know? Well, apparently apparently these messages were seen by the authorities. Mm-hmm. So... Now on, on top, so the authorities saw they didn't do anything. No, afterwards, oh, after okay. the shooting, like the, the the authorities did confirm that these were private messages sent to somebody. They didn't reveal who it was, right? Who they were sent to, right? So, but I feel like when you send that, do you think him sending that was kind of like a alarm to to to, to stop to, to to for somebody to tell him don't do it? If you know what, subconsciously, it would alarm me if somebody sent me that. That I know is a little off. Hell yeah! It would alarm me. Hell yeah! <laughs> like if I like like I know like I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it a hundred. If Jamal sent me that, uh-huh. I'm gonna laugh and be like, man, get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. But if somebody that I like like I know is a, who's always been off, Looney Tooney, Looney, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a, I might have to like make a phone call and be yeah. like, I don't know how real this is, but he's off Go anyway. Check. Yeah. <laughs> Go to his house just in case he ain't never had it all. Uh, right. Sorry, I'm rather be safe than sorry. You right. know, you know, they be like that little, that's a little crazy James down the street. Look, James is real crazy. Yeah. He just sent me. He just sent me a gun saying that wait till tomorrow. I don't want to wait till tomorrow. Go to his house now. Yeah. Cause he crazy. He was, he was burning, you know, uh, rabbits when he was five. Go 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 find him. They said that the the dude. Shot his grandmother yeah. as, when he was leaving the house. He shot her. She's in critical condition. So maybe she tried to stop him, which probably what Big Mama, you know how Big Mamas are. Sure. You know, Grandma's got love for everybody. Sure. Maybe she tried to stop him. But him being demented in the mind. You, you know what's fun, crazy, bro? You can look at him and see something wrong with him. From the picture? Yeah. All the pictures that I've seen of him, you, you can just, it's unfortunate. You hate to say stuff like that, but you can see something was wrong with him. And... He pulled up to the school, and here's what they were talking about the press conference. Because the sheriff of the the uh, one of the deputy sheriff, he was giving an account of everything that he know from the briefing, and he said that before he entered the school, he had an encounter with the resource officer at the school. Mm-hmm. So whatever it was said, that the kid walked away, mm-hmm. he left, but he snuck back into the school through like a back door, or a side door, mm-hmm. and, and once he got through that door. That's when he encountered the classroom and he opened fire on that classroom. Mm, mm, mm. So, again, he had on body armor. Mm-hmm. So, now what's happening is... And but he's jo- dead, though. Well, he's dead, but what's yeah. happening now with this body armor thing, it made me. It had me thinking a little bit. Are these video games really warping some of these kids? Because this is twice now where you had two people... With body armor, I, I'm talking about twice this year, but we know in the past we've heard where mm-hmm. shootings happen and dudes had on body armor. Mm-hmm. So is this becoming a thing now? I think it's a thing for mentally crazy people. So should you should people be alarmed now? Should they send an alarm? Like you know how we try to buy, like everybody knows when you buy stuff to to ignite a bomb yeah. or build a bomb, there's red there's red yeah. flags that go up. So yeah. now should it be a red flag when somebody tries to buy body armor? 
I mean, <laughs> what do you need it for? If you're a normal, do you have body armor? No, I don't. Because you're a normal person. No. You go to work. <laughs> I don't even I wear mean, condoms. I don't even wear condoms. Okay. Well, I yeah. Okay. <laughs> so me neither. <laughs> um, um, I mean, but I mean, unless you're a cop, unless you're, you know, in the service, any kind of job that requires that, if that's not a part of your job, why do you need it? Why is that even accessible? Why do you need that? I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like you got this paranoia like thing. Like if if you if you're living a normal life, you don't have to. We shouldn't have to walk around with body armor. Yeah. So somebody that's going to purchase that to me, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. That's clearly some like what are you doing that you that you feel like you need that? Yeah. You're not you're not a celebrity. You're not famous. You're not in going to war. Why do you need body armor? Like I just don't understand. But you know what? It's 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 money, so you know that 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 we already know that. So. And and you know watching it today on CNN, just watching like people talk about the reporters out there on Ground Zero, there are still families who can't even identify their kids. Yeah, I saw because that. the bullet has ravaged their body, those little bodies so bad yeah. that they have to identify their own children by DNA. That's crazy. That is that that that's yeah. I I don't even know how you can. Look, man. I don't care if you if if you if you believe in God or you don't believe in God. The mere fact what happened yesterday, if you don't have any type of compassion, just for human life, I don't know what to say about you. Yeah. Because those kids were two days away from being out of school for the mm-hmm. summer. But then, but 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 you know, not to prolong it, but just if you think about it. If you think about those kids that got killed, but think about the other kids that go to the school. Yeah. So that's trauma for they're, them. They're it, fucked up I, for life. I had, I know what teacher. We know it's both had a teacher. She she yep. she commented today and she said, I'm ill equipped for my classroom. She's been a teacher for over 20 years. And she felt like coming into school today, what do I tell my babies mm-hmm. about being safe? Because you know, when we was younger, we had the tornado drills and fire we never drills. had fire drills. These kids just they experience they have active different. shooter drills. They have active shooting drills. And even when even when I was becoming a teacher, when I was going to school to be a teacher, that was something that was crazy to me that the, the kids had to do that. Mm-hmm. And they actually had situations where they had to do that because people would be, you know, shooting around the neighborhood and if they hear shots, it's just like a normal drill. They go in a closet. It's just so sad. I just I just felt bad. Like Cause school's supposed to be safe. That's what we were taught. And you used All to, people life. used to even when, back when we were younger, people didn't really. If you was doing dirt, like you didn't really do it at school. You didn't do it at the you school. You didn't really bring it to school. You'd be like, you be you be a block away, you know, because because first of all, if you was fighting on school grounds, you're gonna be in trouble. Yeah. Uh, people would be like, all right, I'm used to the corner store. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It used to go down, but it it was rarely like it rarely went down that like in that way where it was like gun and all or like weapons involved. It rarely happened at school. You know, it's it's this uh, is a different. It's just different now. It's 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 different. Like it's 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 not for you know. Sad. It's always that talk about guns, 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 gun reform, gun control, and and my thing has always been is nothing's changed for me. I don't have a problem with people owning guns. Me I, I don't I don't have a problem with that. That that is your right. You can own a gun. I have a problem with people being able to buy a AR fifteen. That lives in Bellwood. Mm-hmm. That lives in freaking uh, Hagwish or up there on the north side. Why do you need an AR-15? Why are you Why are you purchasing that? You're not. You can't hunt anywhere in Chicago. Mm-hmm. That's number one. But when we talk about these states, Texas, Texas especially. Mm-hmm. It's gods and guns. Yeah. That's what they believe in. God and guns. That's and what they, they believe even, in. They don't even really believe in God. It's like a joke God. It's not even real God. But they're <laughs> serious about their guns. Yeah. Like, they walk around with rifles. Yeah. And. Well, when, not, a lot of states, they, they have open carry. So, you know, those southern ones. Yeah. 
I, it's it's a, it's a it's a totally different world, bro. Than we had then than we. It is. It's, it's totally I mean, different. You know, Texas, California, those states, they already want to be like their own mini country they anyway, do. They, and they operate they, they operate do. that way. That's why when it comes to like certain laws and stuff, they write their freedom stuff because they they thinking about before we had the thirteen colonies and they was their own territory. They 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 still have that mindset before they became into United States of America. They drag their feet on the law, they, and they everything they do is almost opposite. Everybody. They don't drag yes. their see, my, see California is, rules because in the, the business that I work for, you working in HR world, California true, rules. True. I hate doing California HR stuff. They they, they have different they have different it's laws. So stupid. They do. They have different laws. They yeah. do. Even even for even for uh medicine, medical. Yeah, for healthcare. Yeah, yeah, healthcare. They have different laws. Yeah. Different laws. Yeah. My my thing with these with, with these with these Republicans and and especially in the state of Texas, they're so contradictory when it comes to life. Okay, mm -hmm. they were so quick to sign that abortion thing to mm -hmm. get that passed, mm -hmm. but when it comes to gun reform and guns and schools being shot up, they drag their feet on that shit. Yeah, because I mean, because it don't really affect. Them. There's no consistency with them. Well, because that's why I'm saying it's not. They're not really serving God. They 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 serve convenient God. What 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 what's convenient for them? Oh, the Bible says you know don't don't kill don't hit. Well, you're you're. You're inviting killing by having all these guns, by having by having laws that do this. So you don't really believe that. It's it's convenient for you to be like, oh, to tell women what to do with their bodies. But yeah. when you can you can say you can't buy this weapon until you're this age until or this age. you have a full yep. background check and a mental, you know, a whole capacity screening. check. Yeah. Got the whole screening. Yeah, but they that it's it's that's that that would take away all their their, their friends' money. So they're and not of course, do that. of course, the punk ass governor of Texas he had to bring up Chicago. Well, they, they always bring up. Well, Chicago. it was more shootings uh, last weekend in Chicago than it was with the school shooting we had on yesterday. <laughs> I'm, I'm just sitting there like shootings or deaths. He said shootings. It's I, a lot of shootings, a lot of places. And, and we don't even have the highest death rate in the city, but they always use Chicago. They always use Chicago. He used Chicago, and then he used New York. New York don't even have high. Some of the other places they don't talk about, like Baltimore and other places that have more killings, you know, than we have, they don't talk about that. And but, I'm saying that we good, but, but I'm just saying. I'm just yelling at the screen like, that doesn't fucking matter right it, now. It, it, it does it. It does it. Like, all of it's wrong. All of it's wrong. Well, it's like, it's like, it's like what are you saying? What do you say? It does, it, it's 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 tit for tat. It's it, stupid. It doesn't matter. Chicago has nothing to do with what happened yesterday. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's talk, talking about you know there are real gun laws in Chicago. I mean, okay, like that has nothing We're to do with about what happened. In Texas that has nothing today. to do with yesterday. Yeah, like your yeah. fucking state, you had nineteen kids get gunned down. Right. At lunch, whatever, right. whatever period they were in, whatever was going on. Right. And you bringing up what happened in Chicago. Right. Yeah, it's stupid. You know, it's typical political shit, and it's and that's the part that people, you know, they always always want to bring up Trump this this and that. No, nobody gives a fuck about what party you belong to after just watching right. that shit. Right. People want answers. Like, okay, after Sandy Hook, people were like, now what do we do? Nothing. Ten years later, you know, we right back at it again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The laws are not going to change when it comes to to law to to guns. I don't see that changing nowhere in the near future. It's just because of the way the way our country was built. And if you think unless all the senators die <laughs> and everyone that's you know all the older people in the country that hold on to their guns, if Unless they're all gone, it's a mindset thing, and so I don't, I don't it think that's, well, that's not going nowhere. Well, you know, my uncle told me yesterday. He said until one of these governors or one of these senators' kids get killed in one of these mass shootings, that's when you're gonna see people outraged and some change is gonna happen. They'll be outraged, but that's one person. Because he said it. Because he said he said it doesn't affect them directly. No, but that's what I'm saying. Even then, it'll be one person, but you have to turn the tide for, you know, all of them. You can't just, one person, I mean, it's people are screaming at now. So, you know. Yeah. Well, rest in peace to those kids. Yeah, Prayers definitely. Prayers to them, those families, man, because a lot of those people involved in that town, that school, their lives will never be the same. And those, like you said, those kids that survived, they they will never ever forget what they saw on for yesterday, sure. and for a lot sure. of those kids are probably friends with a lot of those kids. Yeah. yeah. So they they will never ever forget you know what 
what happened on yesterday. So. Yeah. All right, let's move on to <laughs> my boy Deshaun Watson. <laughs> you watch real sports? I have it. I haven't well, watched it in a while. In a, in, a, in a couple years, I don't think. Well, the new episode dropped yesterday, and, mm. it, and they had like a a segment on there where they interviewed two of the twenty one women. I've been that, following the case though. That's accused him of sexual misconduct. Okay. So, one was a, uh, a, a Latina lady, mm -hmm. young lady. She was a massage therapist. And the other one was a black lady. Those two ladies were interviewed and they talked. Uh, they both gave their accounts of what happened, allegedly, mm -hmm. what they said he did. Um, it was consistent with what we already heard. But this is the first time we actually seen the women, two of the women actually talk about it uh, in an interview. Mm -hmm. um, the black, the young black lady, she said uh, she became, Desha or Deshaun Watson became her client because she had just started her business mm -hmm. on Instagram and she posted her business and he uh, sent her a, a DM and was like, hey, I'm, I'm looking for a massage therapist. This is what I need. I see that you, a, you know, you, your business off the ground and that's how they got hooked up or whatever. Mm-hmm. So her account of the story was, you know, he was on the table. She was getting ready to prep to get ready to give him a size. Well, the, he had a towel over him. So somehow the towel fell on the floor. She bent over to get it. And when she, she said, allegedly, when she turned around, he was standing up and he was harder than Chinese arithmetic. <laughs> and she said that that freaked out. But he got back on the table. She put the towel back over him. So she asked him, she said she was trying to get through the massage. So she asked him, what areas do you like for me to work on? Which all massage therapists asked mm -hmm. their clients that. Mm -hmm. And he told her right above the midsection area. <laughs> I would be like, you got to get down, boy. So <laughs> You got to go down, boy. <laughs> she said she started to, you know, do her thing or whatever. And I guess there's a, mo a certain way they do it. Mm -hmm. And... She said, because how she was standing over him, somehow her hand kept hitting his penis. Mm -hmm. And I guess she said that was arousing to him. Yeah. And then she said before she knew it, he ejaculated. Well, I say this, in, in, in his defense, I hear that a lot, even with women, okay? that Because, I mean, you, you, got, you got to think about it is physical touch. It, your body responds to touch. There's no getting around Well, massage it. therapists, women, females say that, like, a man getting aroused, they say they kind of understand that's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. They not, understand it's that. Not, but women respond too. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I, it's a it's a woman that uh, I don't really follow her on, on, on Twitter, but I've seen her, like, people that retweet her stuff. And she'll post pictures, like, from her massages of women that then, then wet her whole table. So so much she had to throw. <laughs> Holy like, shit. Yeah, like, I mean, like, she, she's shown pictures, like, of... Once she's done mm -hmm. with with her massage and mm -hmm. table, just the whole, just all the sheets just wet. Damn. Yeah. So I'm I mean, like, I mean, I know that man. happens. It's 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 it, it it happens. But you know, you gotta be careful with that. Like, you can't be being no creep. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You, you can't be being be no creep. creep. I mean, that I do think your body naturally responds to to touch in a lot of ways. But at the same time, I feel like he was he was on some creep stuff. Well. So she said that that freaked out and, you know, she was upset and, you know, she was distraught. So, and, 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 you know, it probably depended, too, on how once he once he did, like, ejaculate or whatever, like, what was he apologetic about that's it? That's what or? she said. She said he apologized and he was, you know, he was a real apologetic about it, you know, and apparently... After that happened, after that encounter happened, you know, they exchanged text messages and they talked about it. So the interviewer, which was Soledad O'Brien, you know, she does a great job with all her cover stories. So she asked this this young woman, she was like, well, if you were just, a, if you felt like you were just uh, involved in some type of inappropriate act, why did you exchange communication with right, him? Right, that's my thought. Like, she why said, you? this, and I'm, I'm kind of, I want to make sure I get this right. She said that she was afraid of what 
he could say about her business, and she was thinking about her business. And she said, that's why she exchanged communication with him. Yeah, I don't really believe that, but I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like if you uh, if you got proof of someone, you know, violating you and stuff like that, most people will use that to, I mean, if, if you, that's you were freaked out and stuff, you could use that to your advantage. But I'm sure he was paying a lot of money. Well, they had his lawyers on there too, and they gave they gave his lawyer, it's a female lawyer, a chance to talk and to talk about the allegations. So, he, for me, he, here's for me, here's me. I don't know what happened, and I'm not gonna say all 21 of those women are lying. Yeah, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of yeah, allegations. Yeah, I, 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 I just said I don't, I don't totally believe. Like I just feel like. But here's here's for me. Here's this. There were two grand juries that found no wrongdoings, no sexual misconduct, mm -hmm. no evidence, nothing that found him guilty. Mm -hmm. It's technical stuff. So my thing is this. Unless someone has his DNA on a towel. That's easy, though, bro. Let me finish. Unless unless them girls have a DNA on his towel, or unless there was a video, mm -hmm. unless there's some type of recording. Sure. It's going to continue to be his word yeah. versus all 21 of theirs. Yeah. But, I mean, the, for, for the grand jury to not find him any wrong, that's, that's, that's huge on his part. I mean, that's a big win for him. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I'm saying about with with – with all these, you know, to, to a certain degree, you know how sometimes people be like, you know, it could have been a situation where he was doing that to different ones and then one person said something and everybody was like, you know what, now I think about it, he did it to me too. Like, that happened to me too. And it, it may not really fall into the category that they talking about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that that could be something that th technically the law could look at and say, well, that's that's not – you know, well, two women, an, uh, an two women confirmed it in the text messages that was shown in in the in the court and in the, in, the, in the discovery. Two women admitted that they exchanged, they had oral sex. Yeah. After the massages that they gave were over, another woman admitted that said, she had I don't, sex. That's why I said I don't believe all the stories. Like I don't, I don't doubt for a second. I do think he was also creep stuff and he was probably, you know, some guys got to start reading the room. You just can't pull your dick out all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, if, <laughs> if unless you're getting that invitation, you shouldn't just be like whipping it on out. Like, come on now. But dudes do that. Especially dudes with money. They do that. Especially dudes with money. And, but that's what I'm saying. But you got. Rick James used to do the shit. <laughs> And Rick James went to jail for rape. And he was used to pull his shit out. And he went to like, jail. Like, hey. Yeah, yeah. With a line of cocaine next yeah. to it. Like, hey. I'm Rick James. I'm Rick bitch. James, bitch. <laughs> like, you're right. Dudes do that. Yeah, but but they don't make it right. <laughs> no, it definitely don't make it That's right. That's what I'm saying. Read the rule. You got to read the rule. And he, you got to know you're dealing with. It, you, it's, it's too many people that's going to be okay with it. You Deshaun Jackson. And listen, they, you know, you got some. So it's a lot of women that's gonna go. I think Unless he has a you, fetish. He might with with, with but, massage. Okay, but my thing is, go to the women. Like I just told you about the lady who mm -hmm. that's what she do. She she wants to get you to arrive. Call her. It's people that's our. Don't just whip it out on this random little girl who really trying to get you a massage. Like that's what the Latina chick and, and want, said. And want a big tip. I mean, I really want. I want to do a good job because I because you're Deshaun Jackson. Why would I not want that as the a client? The Latina chick said that she said she's so. A, but but I didn't. That don't mean I'm ever. I'm not. Inv you know, it's not an invitation for you to just. Jag off right She there. said that's dangerous. She don't want to be known as that type of massage. She said, because, yeah, because you don't know we don't dangerous. get in there. You don't know you don't when if if that's what I'm saying. It's people who don't who do this for a living. It's women that and it's that 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 will do that for him. So you don't have to just randomly if 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 the lady not giving you that vibe, you need to control yourself. That's creep stuff. That's when it goes into creep mode to me because it's just like, listen. Everybody don't care about you being Deshaun Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, I'm not, I'm those, I keep saying Jackson. Watson. Yeah, Watson. Yeah, you know, so, yeah. He is a freaky dude that has a fetish. And he needs to and call freak masseuse. He need to, seriously, like, I, I'm going to say this, and I, I, I think he's learned his lesson. I, I think he did it. I guarantee, no, 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 listen to me. I guarantee Look, you now. What, what, what that boy say? I think he not done. 
<laughs> it, it won't be it, this time. It won't be twenty one mm-hmm. massage therapist. It'll probably just be two. Yeah, because he'll never do this again. No, he's not. I think he's not. He's going to. He's just going to pay people to do that. If that's his fetish, I think that's and he, what he and is. He knows. He knows the people who with it and who's not. That's what I'm saying. You just can't. He it, it, it's a true fetish because you're just going through like trying to see like I mean because usually. <laughs> If it's a fetish, bro, most people, and this is how I'm saying what it comes with different with money. It's a power thing, too. Because yeah. now I could just, I got the money. You think you can do it to everybody. Yeah. That's when your mind start getting above yourself. And that's when that's when everybody fall. Because now you get, now you think you can do it to anybody. And now you in court for some, you know, for, for being inappropriate. When the lady who was already giving you head, why you used to keep calling her? If that's what you want. Why are you just keep calling them two, them, two, them three? You just gonna randomly go to a, I'm gonna find somebody else. I mean, that's what you, it is. Not, that's what I'm saying. You get now you get you get you get off. What it is. You get off on just, yeah, just doing this. You know what, what I'm saying? Like, she chocolate. She vanilla. She caramel. Yeah. I got three he, sets he, of he, mouth. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> he should have just kept it there. He got he got too big. As the people say, too big for his britches. He did. He got too big. <laughs> like I mean. We all know, like I know, I know a female on Facebook. She's a known. She's a, a you know, she prides herself being a sex worker, but she gives massages and she gives happy endings, mm-hmm. and she says that's what she does for a living. That's what I'm saying. It pays Call her me bills. Up. It pays her bills. She has clients, and that's she, what I'm saying, bro. Know? All he had to do was call them. He could say it's pro- He could if if you you could save yourself the trouble. You just call the people that do this. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. But right now, the NFL has a decision to make if he's going to suspend him. They're I'm probably going to give him a few games. I'm going out on a limb and said, I don't think he's going to be suspended. You don't think so? I think he's going to give him a few games. He By him sitting out last year, I believe. Maybe they'll count for it. Yeah. I believe that's the punishment that he's going to get. Yeah. Because here's why. They can't justify suspending him now. If he's if he's been cleared. If, be, if he's been found cleared yeah. by the grand jury. Yeah. Now, there's a trial coming up now. And, uh... Uh, but they can October, sue him. They can sue him personally, though. Now here's the thing: yeah. this trial that's coming up. Now that may be different. Yeah, it, it, something may come out, and it may, you know, it may be a smoking gun. But right now, I don't see the NFL saying we're going to suspend him for ten games. And there's really yes, was it inappropriate? Yes, mm-hmm. I'm sure something inappropriate happened. Mm-hmm. I really believe that because. Like you, like we said, he land on that table. He probably one of them dudes that's like, oh shit, my dick fat came out. Let's see what she do. Yeah, and I, and I, I, no, that's seriously, how, I know. that's how dudes think. I know, that's how dudes think. I know, I if know. If they can get away with it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, and I think <laughs> I think he one of them young freaky dudes who got a fetish and money. Yeah, it feel like he could do whatever he want to do. Yeah, for sure. And right now he, you know, everybody. He's catching heat for that big ass contract he signed with the Browns and what the Browns gave him. But hey. the Browns stand by what they said. They yeah. said based upon what we know, we felt justified in signing him to this guaranteed contract. So again, that we don't know what they know. Yeah. All we know is what's been told us. For sure. Because them people have investigators that get to shit that we'll never see. Right. So. Right. Stay tuned. And they everybody. don't care. We already know people didn't do worse. And not not that this is not bad, but people that have killed people and <laughs> people still, have beat their wives and beat their wives, <laughs> and they're still playing in the NFL. So you know, yeah, it's, it's NFL been, doesn't really care. <laughs> it's been a lot. It's been a lot of worse shit that has happened yeah, in the NFL. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, yeah, but the, the Deshaun Washington is like you know he one of my favorite players in the NFL. Yeah, I did. Because he's young like and black. Yeah, you know he's he's very outspoken. And before all this happened, he was considered a model citizen. Like he, he, <laughs> he was. I mean, he, he would do. Yeah. He he would. He's. A, he you, would you see back. how you you notice these model model citizen guys be freaks behind the door. They do be freaks. Yeah, that's why I don't be trusting them good boys. You probably into some shit. <laughs> they might be. Yeah. Just do like Dave Chappelle said. Sign a motherfucking agreement. Right. <laughs> Kobe, this yeah. one episode. Sign agreement. Sign yeah. agreement. You, yeah. you, you said you gonna suck my dick. Sign right Sign here. Sign right here. Sign right here. This yeah. consent. I ain't mad at it. Cause you know it's good. I ain't up. mad at it. Cause you got a lot to lose if you're in them type of position. For sure. Because sure. again, it's he say, she say. Yeah. So even allegations would tarnish your 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 reputation. Unfortunately, yeah. 
And even if you found innocent, yeah, that's still gonna be that cloud, yeah, over you. Yep. So you know, you know, unless you bathroom Ben. Yeah. Nobody nobody <laughs> say nothing about him. Yeah, he that's what I'm saying. And that motherfucker took pussy. Yeah, that's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, it's a deal. He took the that's pussy. That's what I'm saying. It's it's people have done a lot. I'm not and not saying that this is not even bad, but people have done worse in the NFL. A whole lot worse. And had full career. So I don't they're definitely not the 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 model <laughs> model league. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not. So it's not. Yeah. All right, let's go to Oh yeah, basketball wives is back. Basket, you watching it? You know I'm watching it. That's your show. That's my. It? You know I like a little. I got the sprinkling in a little ratchet TV in my life. Is Jennifer on there? Yeah, all of them on there. Are they all back? All of them. Even you know what they kind of did. They basically they from like a lot of epi- from a lot of seasons. They put okay. like all of them. Remember, remember British? Yeah, I remember. Remember Brooke? Yeah. All of them was like on different uh seasons, but they, they all, all back. Of, huh? They all Is back. Is this the last season? We had Brandy. She's back. Uh, Brandy Malaysia. Back. She got into it with uh, but Shawnee. So she back now. She back. Shawnee, Damn. Shawnee on there. Uh, who else is on there? Shawnee uh, getting that bag, boy. Uh, Jackie crazy ass is back. Still on the cra- talking about she ain't give, she ain't giving Doug head. That's a crazy lady. Listen, you've been married for twenty eight years and you said you have never. I don't believe you have it. never given your husband fellatio. That's what she said. She sti- I don't. That's her story. And she's sticking to it. You believe <laughs> it? I. She's crazy, bro. So I believe it. But do I believe that Doug is not getting head? No. <laughs> I believe he's getting mouth from somebody. He just ain't getting it from Jackie. Now, yeah. according to her, she he can't but look you know, at another woman. Jackie, but you know she nuts. She used to be on a roll with him <laughs> every every road game. Yeah, but see, and that was on the episode too. Like she feels stupid because now that he's coaching with Sacramento, she hasn't been on a roll with them and stuff now. So she's like, oh I, not because you're coach now. So she feel weird because she was like she don't get to see hoes like much. coaches too. I guess so. <laughs> well, you coach, you would know. I, listen, from what I understand, <laughs> you that's know. what I was told. Okay, yeah, okay. that's what I was told. Okay, all right. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, so all them back, huh? All them back, bro. All right, okay. Yeah, it's all been. Right. It's only been like two episodes in, so y'all got y'all catch up on the ratchet stuff. It's, I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah. you said Jennifer, and you know me. what? Yeah, Jennifer. I love me some Jennifer. She's so oh, her little. Her. You know, want to be black Barbie self. Um, yeah, but Malaysia she, on there, she threw what you call it under the bus, uh, Janeiro. Pargo. Because, mm-hmm. you know, he's coaching too. And yep, she was saying yep. that he hasn't, he, she said he stopped paying her child support. Mm-mm. And so she was like, I know that he got money. He, he's been coaching for the last couple of years. So Mm-mm. it's not like he's not getting paid. But so it made me wonder because, you know, you know how Gilbert Arenas, he's like the king of the pettiness. And he's that, super petty. He's super. But you know what? I was in the interview that he just did with. Um, I got to watch that. On, with the it, no, I am it, athlete. As I'm, yeah, I am, it was athlete. I am athlete. I gotta watch and that. It, everything that he said makes sense, you know, of why I went the, the whole thing, how. How what this ex wife, how she ended up getting what she got was because she was being greedy. Mm-hmm. And this is, and I wonder if a situation where he, you know, when he retired, he wasn't making as much, but he was like, he still made, he still had enough money where he was going to give her, um, what was it? I think it was like $60,000 a month. Shit. Well, he he he's, they had four he kids. He got money though, right? He no, he had money. He was like he, he was going to give her that, and um and the house and um whatever. But she because she was looking at how much he got paid, and she was going by the law. What she thought, and her lawyer basically sent her off and was like, you know, you can get like two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month, you know. Um, because of uh, what he made, he got she got greedy. Went to the went to court, and then so when when it was all said and done, mm-hmm. she got even less a month. Well, she still got she got twenty five thousand dollars a month, bro. Which still that's somebody's salary a year. Oh, she went from sixty to, to thirty, and she lost the house. Damn. And you know what? His ass don't feel bad. He was, and then Laura. she she wanted to go back and be like, you know, okay, I'll take a rich deal. He was like. Mm-hmm. Bitch, <laughs> he, you know he's stupid. He's he was stupid. like, yeah. Stupid, he was man. like, yeah, no, no. <laughs> and he stupid, would not he come said, up Bitch. off it. And then, cause then what? So, so because he wouldn't go back to the original deal. Uh-huh. So then she tried to get full custody 
other kids and let him see him one day. And the judge was like, no, we're not playing these games. They was like, he's retired. Because he was like, he got, he because he had his, he had good lawyers. He was like, I'm, I pick my kids up every day. I take them to school every day. I, I get them um, during this day, during the week, I guess every other weekend. This has been going on. But she wanted to get the full custody so she can get the money back. Mm-hmm. He was like, no. So that's why he hate her. And his what he said he's never coming off it because he, he hates her. He hates like, her. He, he was hates like her. he was like people say I'm immature and he was like and I probably am in that area. He was like but I'm not. No, he's he like, hates I don't her. have nothing to do and I get it. That's why I, I said it to say I wonder if that situation is going on with Malaysia. Like you, 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 heard, you heard people say, man, I hate him so much that he was on fire. I wouldn't spit on him. Yeah, I believe him when Bro, he said they that asked about his baby him, mama. Had about the situation about the about co-parenting yeah. and stuff. He said we parent the same kids. <laughs> that's that's his response. His response was that sound just like he him. said we parent the same kids. He was like I don't have. He said most of my kids are almost grown anyway. They mm-hmm. like 16, 17. Mm-hmm. I think he got two younger ones. He One of them like, is a hooper, I think. Yeah, he's like no, I don't um. We just parent the same kids. He was like, we don't call parents. He's funny, man. He's funny. He's funny. You put a microphone in front of him. Yeah. He don't tell you what's on his mind. For sure. For sure. He's funny as hell. Okay, yeah. well, I'm about to check it out. Jennifer back. Mm-hmm. I'm going to check it out and see how she talking with that accent of hers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and you say Brooke, Brandy, all them back. Yeah. Back. Yeah, you got to check, check it out. I'm going to check it out, man. Yeah. I've been, um, Everybody need a little ratchet TV in their life. Yeah, they do. Have yeah. you been watching that show, We Own the City? I haven't, but I heard it's good. Oh, it's outstanding. With with Courtney B. Vance, right? It's, no, no, no. That's sixty first street. Sixty first street, okay. That's on FX. Okay. So I'm because I'm behind too. on some good I'm I've bro, I just caught up to and I'm still I'm still watching, you know, um Ozark. So I'm trying to catch oh, up on the second up? half. You catching up? Yeah. So I'm oh. trying to catch up on that. So then I was gonna switch to sixty first and then what's this one you said? It's called We Own the City. We Own the City, it's okay. On HBO, okay. Uh, HBO on the on on there and it's it's basically about the corrupt cops from Baltimore. Okay, is it a is it a is it a like a drama or is it like no? This is based a on a true story. No, it's a it's a TV show, like okay. a series, like actors, but okay. it's based on a true story. Okay, it's really good though. I'm gonna check it's it out. Really good. Yeah, I'm gonna check it's, it out. it's good. I'm gonna check what it else out. have I watched? I'm trying to think. What else have I been watching? I've been watching a lot of old movies on that T- Tubi app. I was telling you about. Tubi is trash, but okay. But it's got so many damn movies. It do. It got a lot of. It's got it's a lot of you, movies. But to get, you have to go through all the trash to get to the good stuff. Yeah, I'll say yeah, that. You do. They do. Once you go through, once you start, you know, uh, going through, you, you know, scrolling, you'll be okay. Yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, one. yeah. I forgot about that one. But you got to get past all those bullets. It's a lot of. <laughs> it's a lot of shit. You got to get past all those bullets. Oh, I know. What I watch. It's this movie I watched on BET called Trophy Wife. That I mean, shit is crazy. Oh Lord, crazy! You love these BT movies. They got me now. Oh my gosh! Cause I'm waiting on uh, my my show to come back. Which one? The one with um, it's like the fake girlfriends. What sisters? Sisters. I'm waiting on to oh, come back. Oh gosh! And I'm waiting on uh the other show to come back too. That's uh with Eva. With where Eva. She, with Eva Pickford, where she's the uh. She's the club owner of that male strip club. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about, but I never watched Wait, it. Wait, they have to come back, too. Yeah, yeah. But I like sisters. Sisters hooked me in, man. I don't know. You know, I've been anti Tyler Perry because, you know, he had the worst actors and actresses. To- <laughs> well, I heard sisters. I, I, I don't. Tyler Perry, you know, I like some of his stuff, but, you know, most of his TV shows I don't. I couldn't get with. They, so. The acting and acting is just bad. It's yeah. just bad. But sisters is pretty good, you know. It's real. I, I like it. Yeah. Um. But oh, NBA playoffs. Trash or not? They've been trash. <laughs> this, this surprisingly, this this especially these these semifinals. Yeah. I I uh I was surprised because well I should say the finals the mm-hmm. the, the the conference finals I I thought it's been it's been blowouts like I thought that all over I thought that. Like Boston and Miami, like they would be like dogs. Like it was gonna be like, you know, like a like a, it was gonna be like close games each Every game. one. But it's been like blowout. You blow out now, I blow out. You blow out now. That's that's so whack to watch. Mm-hmm. That is so whack. Like I I really thought, especially because they both like so defensive minded teams. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, 
it's gonna be even even with like on the other on the other side with with the Mavs and the Warriors. The Warriors, I thought that it would be high score, but I still thought it'd be close. I'd be like, that'd be it's gonna be a shootout. You know who 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 gonna get the last shot? Because you know they both they're they're both high offense teams. So yeah. I was like. This should be good, but yeah, it's been the same thing. You blow out now, I blow out. You blow out now, I blow. I'm like, this is this is trash. It's 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 really been un um, uninspiring, and I haven't. I've been watching, but it's like I'm watching with like one eye over here, and I've been turning off, bro. Else, when I get the other day, what was it? A couple of days? What was it? It wasn't yesterday. Maybe day before yesterday. When they was up by like thirty five, I was like, "No." Nah, yeah, when Boston blew out Miami, yeah, yeah I was like, "I'm not gonna watch this shit. This is terrible." Yeah, this is terrible. I was like, "Who? I, I don't even. This is just boring." And I'm like, "Now you making the case for like people that, but like, yeah, it's time for new generation. Y'all, y'all whack. <laughs> y'all whack. Like now you miss LeBron in the playoffs because <laughs> this is terrible. Like I don't want to see this. Nice. No, I, I, I'm gonna be interested to see like how the finals numbers do. Like when it finally gets to the finals." The round, we are gonna see like if it's really, yeah. Well, I know because it, it ain't really no big besides Steph. It ain't really no really they, big. They superstars. they hoping of, they want Steph. They, they want, want him, man. Yeah. yeah, they want him. Because if, if Steph don't, if the Warriors don't go to the finals, it's nobody's gonna watch that shit, bro. They gonna be pulling WNBA numbers. I'm definitely gonna watch if Jimmy Butler go to the final. I don't want to see no fucking Jimmy Butler. Yeah, Jimmy, Madden not my I, Jimmy is you know Jimmy Jimmy is good, but you know that ain't. He's not my favorite person. No, so I don't want to see that shit. Yeah, I don't want to see Hollywood. Mm -mm. So, well, let's see. We did episode forty. Oh, listeners, 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 we got we're gonna bring back that battle of the sexes. Uh, we don't know when it's gonna be sooner rather than later. We're gonna bring it back with some more questions. Um, we got a lot of feedback about that show. Yeah. A yeah. lot of feedback. Lots and lots and lots of feedback. So. Yeah, and they, they're in the panel, so they want to do a part three. So they want to do, okay. That, okay. That's coming up. So when we do the part three, we're going to make sure we broadcast, make sure everybody know when to tune in. Um, I appreciate y'all for the text messages, the comments. Um, like I said, it's episode 40. Give your shout outs for we leave. Who, who? Oh, I got, I'm going to give a shout out. Man, I got some new people that started listening. Yeah. Shouts out to some of my old uh, grade school classmates who jumped on and started listening to the podcast. They love it. Um, <laughs> they didn't realize that <laughs> that I talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they was all like, oh, okay, Mo. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but um, shouts out to them. Um, oh, shouts out to my uncle. He subscribed. I had to show him how to do it. But well, he subscribed. He did, it. <laughs> he did it. He listened to two episodes. Yeah. He enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, uh, he asked, Was you married? <laughs> I'm dying. This is Michael that was at the wedding. This dude. I'm boy. dying. He's, yeah, yeah. You know, I need a sugar daddy. No, so. no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> uncle, mm. uh, Uncle, if you listening. <laughs> Okay, listening. If you listen, he got the hearing aid in. He ain't listening. He ain't listening. Look, call me. <laughs> you got some shot. I'm tired. Man. I'm tired. I'm tired of working here. <laughs> uh, yeah, just shout out to just two our two 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 other um two other of my lane tech homies. Uh, for first, I start off with the Chicago True Chicago Sports fans. They okay. podcast. They always shout us out. So I think they're almost at episode 100. They might shout be out on, to them. They might be on 97, 98. So shout out to, to to my guys over there. If y'all looking for some good sports, Chicago Talk, definitely check them out. And then congratulations to our homies at Corner Convo. Oh, yeah. They had their 100. Yeah. Yes, they had their 100 episode. Yeah. Um, check them out too, y'all. They always promoting black excellence so they another weekly podcast so okay. they everywhere too so just shout out to them um those are my lane tech connections so you know yeah you're so you, can, tech. you can get your get your hate in but uh no yeah hate. that's it and then next week you know we'll, we'll we'll be back so um yep next week we'll be back you guys will be able to uh we'll record on on monday you guys will be able yep. to listen to the pod on wednesday so and then we're gonna try to come here and record you know monthly whenever we can for or sure definitely when we got guests um, yeah this is a great studio. Some good people that work here. Some good, some good, some good guys. Some good vibes. Some really good guys. Good vibes. Good vibes. Yeah. So stay tuned. Yo. Once again, it's Coach Mo. It's Tease. Some of this, some of that podcast, and we'll see y'all next week. Holla.